Hello, everyone. This video goes over the story of a plague tale, Innocence and a Requiem. In late 1348, Amicia de Rouen is a young girl of noble descent who lives with her family in Aquitaine, which has been invaded by the English army during the Hundred Years' War. Her younger brother Hugo has been ill since birth. Their mother Beatrice, an alchemist, has locked him away in a family estate for years while trying to devise a cure. While hunting with her father Robert in the forest, Amicia encounters signs of blight, and her dog Liam is gruesomely consumed by an unseen entity. After they return home, French Inquisition troops, led by the Black Knight Lord Nicholas, arrive at the ruined estate in search of Hugo, executing Robert and slaughtering the family servants. Beatrice helps her children escape, and instructs Amicia to take Hugo to a doctor named Laurentius, before she is seemingly killed by Nicholas. The children flee to a nearby village, where they learn that hordes of ravenous rats have been spreading the Black Plague and devouring anything they come across. Local villagers burn the patients to death and appear hostile to the two children. With the help of an old lady, Amicia and her younger brother escape the village. Evading hostile villagers who blame Hugo for the plague and try to kill him, and Inquisition soldiers, Amicia and Hugo search Laurentius' farm and find him bedridden and close to death after being bitten by a rat. Laurentius implores Amicia to finish her mother's work seconds before the farm is overrun by rats. The siblings flee with Laurentius' apprentice Lucas to seek the hidden Chateau d'Empoche, which once belonged to the Deruyn family. As they cross a battlefield occupied by English soldiers, Lucas explains that Hugo's blood carries a supernatural evil called the Prima Macula, which has lain dormant within certain noble bloodlines since the Plague of Justinian. Beatrice and Laurentius had been trying to find an elixir that would mitigate Hugo's symptoms. While Vitalis Benevent, the Grand Inquisitor of France, seeks to harness Hugo's power so that the Inquisition can rule France. Hugo and Amicia are briefly captured by the English. But escape with the help of sibling thieves, Melly and Arthur. Arthur is captured as the other escape to the Chateau d'Empoche. Lucas needs a forbidden book called Sanguinis Itinera to complete an elixir that may help Hugo. Amicia infiltrates a shattered university near Vitalis Bastion, 
the cathedral that houses the Inquisition's headquarters, to retrieve the book while Amelia rescues her brother. Amelia recovers the book and meets a young blacksmith named Roderick, who helps her escape. Arthur reveals that Beatrice de Ruin is still alive and in the Inquisition's custody. Amicia insists not to tell Hugo, but he overhears the conversation, and his condition deteriorates. Amicia and Lucas return to the Ruin Estate, looking for Beatrice's research. In a hidden laboratory, concealed within ancient Roman ruins, they complete elixir and administer it to Hugo to alleviate his symptoms. Angry at his sister not telling him the truth, Hugo runs away and joins the Inquisition to find Beatrice. Vitalis injects himself with Hugo's blood so that he can possess the power of Macula, but due to Lucas' elixir, he is unable to fully attain Hugo's powers. Hugo escapes and finds Beatrice. Before their recapture, she reveals that Macula gives him the power to control the rats. Vitalis threatens Beatrice's life to force Hugo's power to fully awaken. Chateau Dompache is then attacked by a swamp of rats guided by Hugo, still angry at Amicia. Nicholas, who is accompanying him, kills Arthur and orders Hugo to kill Amicia, but she convinces her brother to reject the Inquisition, and they work together to battle Nicholas until the rats consume him. With the Chateau no longer safe, the children decide to confront Vitalis as they fight their way to the Bastion. Roderick sacrificed himself to protect Hugo and Amicia. Vitalis awaits their arrival, having bred thousands of wild rats that only he can control. Vitalis and Hugo use their powers to send hordes of rats at each other until Amicia strikes the former in the head with a rock and kills him. Three days later, both the rats and the plague have disappeared, and life begins to return to normal, although many remain wary of Hugo and his power, including Meili, who parts ways with the group. Amicia, Hugo, Lucas, and an alien Beatrice live in search of a new home. Six months later, Amicia, Hugo, Beatrice, and Lucas flee their plague-ridden and war-torn home province of Guienne and head of a province, where an organization of alchemists called Order has promised to provide refuge to the Deruin family. The group reaches the province's main city, where they meet local order representative Magister Bolden. However, Hugo's macula begins to flare up again, and Amish and Lucas quickly discover that the rats and plague have spread to the province as well. Beatrice and Bolden's attempt to treat Hugo only served to exacerbate his condition. Seeing the situation in the province deteriorating, Bolden arranges for the group to leave by boat for the order's headquarters in Marseille. But the city is suddenly attacked by a massive red swarm that leaves the entire city in ruins. 
Morden is killed in the chaos, while the ruined family and Lucas barely escape. Skeptical of the Order's motives and unwilling to see Hugo be locked up as a test subject again, Amicia decides to part ways with Beatrice and Lucas. Instead, she decides to try to find an island Hugo keeps having recurring dreams of, hoping it might lead to a cure to the macula. Along the way, they are pursued by army troops as well as rogue mercenaries led by the disgraced knight Arnold. Arnold rescues Amicia from a rat swarm, and seeing that Hugo can control rats, offers to arrange the transport to the island Hugo is dreaming of, Lacuna. They recruit his smuggler friend Sophia to transport them to the island. Upon arriving on Lacuna, Amicia and Hugo discover that residents worship a pagan deity called Child of Embers. Arnold shows his true motives when he tries to coerce Hugo into summoning rats to attack Victor, the Count of Provence. Angered, Amicia files Arnold's plans, resulting in his arrest. Victor and his wife Emily express their gratitude to Amicia and accept her and Hugo as their guests. Together with Sophia, Amicia and Hugo proceed to explore the island to search for clues. They manage to infiltrate a ritual being held by Victor and Emily, discovering that they lead a cult that unknowingly worships a previous macular carrier as the Child of Embers. Delving further into an ancient order temple, they are disappointed at not finding a cure, but find clues about the Child of Embers, Basilius, and his protector Adia. While Basilius' fate is unknown, records state Adia was imprisoned after rebelling against the order. The trail heads to the chapel where Adia was held. They find it occupied by a cult of slavers who worship the Child of Embers and offer blood sacrifices to him. Hugo is angered at this and summons the rats to kill all of the slavers. While、well, Amicia finds a message left behind by Adia telling where Basilia was taken, they find a massive underground temple. Where, to their horror, they discover Basilia was locked in an underground prison by the Order in a futile attempt to contain Macula as it crossed the last threshold. Without Adia to match his emotion, Basilius gave in to the Macula and unleashed the Justinian plague. Amicia then realizes the Macula showed Hugo the dream in an effort to lure him into his clutches, and they flee the temple as it collapses from a horde of rats. While Sophia readies the ship, Amicia and Hugo return to Victor's castle, now under siege by the rats and are reunited with Beatrice and Lucas. Amicia reasons that as long as they are there to support Hugo and keep his emotion in check. The macula will remain dormant. However, Victor confronts Amicia, intent on taking Hugo, since Emily is convinced he is the child of embers. Amicia and Lucas are captured, while Beatrice is killed in a ritual sacrifice. Hugo witnesses Beatrice's death and angrily summons a horde of rats that devour Emily and many of Victor's soldiers. They then flee to the harbor, rescuing Arnold on the way before leaving on Sophia's ship. Victor, still intent on claiming Hugo, pursues them on his own ship. He captures Hugo while the rest of the group are forced overboard. On shore, Victor confronts Amicia and Arnold. Arnold sacrifices himself to give Amicia the opportunity to kill Victor, but they are too late to prevent Hugo, who believes Amicia to be dead, from giving himself over to Macula. A dark cloud called Nebula blocks out the sun and allows the rats to spread unchecked, destroying Marseille. Amicia and Lucas delve into the center of the nebula, where Hugo tells them that now that he has fully merged with Macula, the only way to stop the rats is to euthanize him. Though grieved and not willing to do so, Amicia kills her brother. One year later. Amicia prepares to embark on a journey with Sophia in order to find the next nebula carrier and protect her, so that she can help guide them. Before she leaves, she pays her last respect to Hugo's grave.